Superfood Evolution presents Buckwheat Groats, a multi-purpose gluten-free grain option. Buckwheat groats are the triangular-shaped grain-like seeds of the buckwheat plant. The two main species are Phagopyrum esculentum and Phagopyrum tataricum. Whole seeds straight from the plant have a dark brown black hole surrounding the inner seed. While buckwheat hulls are used for a number of different industrial purposes when removed, the buckwheat groat is what is cooked as a type of grain. In the U.S., they are not as popular as other types of grains, and whole groats can be hard to find in many mainstream markets. You may be more likely to find buckwheat flour than the bulk groats themselves. Online suppliers are sometimes your only alternative. Go to many countries in Eastern Europe, however, and buckwheat is a frequently available food item. List of six things buckwheat groats are good for. Number one, a gluten-free grain option. Buckwheat, despite its name, is not a type of wheat or from the grass family, but a pseudo cereal closely related to rhubarb and sorrel. This means it does not contain gluten, making it a gluten-free alternative to those with sensitivities. While many people don't experience major health issues after consuming glutinous foods, some simply feel less fatigued with improved digestion when maintaining a gluten-free diet. As a flour, grain, or pasta replacement to wheat, buckwheat might be one to include along with other gluten-free favorites like quinoa, millet, amaranth, teff, sorghum, and oats. We first started using buckwheat as a staple grain in the late 1990s, when it was first introduced to many health seekers in the book The Body Ecology Diet, which promoted certain non-glutinous grain varieties as part of a protocol for balancing gut microbiota. When purchasing buckwheat, it's best to look for labels that certify it's gluten-free to ensure it hasn't been contaminated with gluten in processing facilities. Number two, a quick cooking grain. One of the advantages of buckwheat groats when prepared as a cooked grain is that it only takes about 15 to 20 minutes to cook depending on water to ratio preferences. They are thus a good one to have in your pantry when making a last minute meal. When steamed like rice, the groats pop open into rounded grain-like morsels with a soft texture similar to barley. We share more on how to cook buckwheat below, but generally most people use two to three cups of water for one cup of whole dry groats. We personally enjoy more water to grain ratio for a softer, well-cooked consistency. Number three, raw buckwheat groats versus kasha. Raw buckwheat groats are a tan to greenish color, and when cooked, have a distinct, earthy buckwheaty flavor. In our opinion, they are one of the best tasting on the list of grain options. Raw groats are also commonly pre-toasted before cooking, turning the seeds to a golden brown color. This type is called kasha, and is often commercially available, sometimes even more than the raw groat variety. When cooked, it has an intensified, nutty sweet taste and softer porridge-like consistency. Buckwheat kasha, sometimes called grechka, is a very common food in Russia and many East Central and Eastern European countries. In several Slavic languages, the term kasha coincides with the English meaning for both porridge or it can refer to the toasted groats themselves. Number four, versatile buckwheat uses. There are many ways to utilize buckwheat groats. Like wheat, it has many multi-purpose uses, especially as a type of flour. Interestingly, buckwheat flour is sometimes commercially processed with some portion of the darker hull. This can give it a slight gray color and darker look compared to other flours. Buckwheat flour is very popular for pancakes, flatbreads, crisp bread, crepes, and many baked goods because of its unique taste and binding quality. It is famous for its use in Japanese soba noodles. Buckwheat groats are also a popular sprouting variety. When raw groats are soaked and sprouted for a couple of days, they can be used straight to make the probiotic drink known as Rejuvelac, or dehydrated to make a granola-type cereal called Buckwheaties. When buckwheat sprouts are ground, they produce a dough that can be useful for making dehydrated pizza crusts. 
Dark, unhulled seeds are the ones you need to grow buckwheat microgreens, a popular variety because of their dense foliage. Number five, traditional cultural dishes. Phagopyrum tartaricum, also called tartary buckwheat, was first believed to be cultivated in Southeast Asia, near regions close to the Tibetan Plateau. From there, its popularity as a cooked ancient grain staple made its way over to Eastern Europe. As a result, cooked buckwheat has influenced many cultural dishes spanning this widespread territory. Some popular dishes include Buckwheat Grechka, a type of Russian porridge consisting of cut kasha served with butter. Kasha Varenishkas, a type of Jewish dish with cooked buckwheat and bow tie pasta. Galette Saucis, a type of French food using a buckwheat flour crepe wrapped around a pork sausage. Makguksku, a type of South Korean cold salad made with buckwheat noodles, chicken, and vegetables served with sesame oil, vinegar, and hot pepper paste. Number six, nutritional properties of buckwheat. Buckwheat is high in resistant starch content, which becomes evident when the groats are soaked in water, producing a mucilaginous, goopy consistency. This aspect adds to its dietary fiber and prebiotic influence. Compared to other gluten-free grain types like teff, amaranth, quinoa, sorghum, and millet, buckwheat is one of the lowest in calories. Another nutritional advantage that buckwheat offers is that it is relatively low in phytic acid content, making it easier to digest. Buckwheat is shown to contain both rutin and quercetin, polyphenols with antioxidant properties. Cooked buckwheat kasha is also a source of protein, especially the amino acid lysine. One cup of cooked buckwheat, according to nutrition data, contains about 18% of the daily value for fiber, as well as the nutrients magnesium, manganese, copper, phosphorus, niacin, iron, zinc, and smaller amounts of other vitamins and minerals. How to cook buckwheat. We prefer a softer buckwheat consistency and use two and a half cups of water per one cup of dry groats. However, some may prefer two cups of water for a firmer texture. It's good to soak grains prior to cooking to improve overall digestibility. Ingredients, one cup of buckwheat groats, two to two and a half cups of water and one eighth teaspoon of pink salt. Directions, one, rinse buckwheat groats and strain water or soak for one hour, but use one cup less water when cooking. Two, using a stovetop method, boil water and then add buckwheat and salt. Three, place the lid on the pot and turn to the lowest heat setting. Four, cook for about 15 to 20 minutes or until water is absorbed. Five, remove from heat and allow to sit with the lid on for five to 10 minutes before serving. Precautions. While cooked buckwheat groats are generally safe to consume, prolonged use of buckwheat microgreens can contain phagopyrins, which can cause skin sensitivities when exposed to sunlight. Consult your healthcare professional before consuming buckwheat on a regular basis if you are pregnant, nursing, have a serious health condition, or are taking any medications. Thanks for watching! For additional info on buckwheat, as well as top quality suppliers, be sure and investigate the links in the description box below this video. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And be sure and check out these other informational videos.